forward kick down linkage. Probably seen this before. Kicks your transmission down when you're going to pass somebody on the highway. Um, so I originally put an Edelbrock carburetor on this truck. It's got a 460 in it with an automatic transmission. And um, so you need a special adapter on the carburetor linkage to put your kick down rod on. So I did not have that, so I took the kick down rod off <coughs> and in, um, figured that I would pick the linkage up later on. So I drove the truck now for four months and uh, if I didn't know that I had the kick down linkage taken off, I would I wouldn't notice any difference whatsoever because it's got a vacuum modulator on it. So when you give it more throttle, which equals less vacuum, uh, it kicks the transmission down. So it's basically, it's shifting in response to where the throttle is and how much vacuum you are pulling or not pulling. So my wife's Mustang over there, 65 Mustang, it's got a C4 in it. Truck has a C6 in it. Uh, the Mustang has never had a kick down linkage in it. It had a 289 originally, and now it has a, in it, a big block FE in it. Um, so it has a stall converter. I believe it's 3600 stall. So that acts a little funny with a vacuum modulator because you're, you're giving it more gas you're giving it more throttle to get moving because it has a stall converter in it. So that shifts a little funny and I generally just shift that manually. <clears throat> so anyway, there you go. If you're wondering if you need a kick down linkage with a C4 and a C6, if it's a stock vehicle, you really don't need it and it doesn't do any harm to the transmission. So there you go. Thanks for watching.